Craig Williams' decision to put a bet on the date of the general election, and indeed to win, uh, I suppose there's not anything particularly wrong with that. A little bit of gambling, except that he's part of the inner circle of the Prime Minister, and so there's the strong suspicion that uh, he might have had inner knowledge, inner information, that it's an, that he's in on the game, and he's standing as a candidate for election this this year for July the fourth. And he says he doesn't want to be a distraction from the campaign, but I mean he's as much a distraction as indeed is his um, leader, Rishi Sunak. I've just received my election leaflet through the door from the Conservative candidate here. Well, there's a cloud, of course, over the Conservative candidate here, uh, which, 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 which I went into the other day. But there's not a mention in the literature about Rishi Sunak. The candidate specifically wants to focus on local issues and on making sure that there's a local voice against Labour. It's, it's as if, it's as if the candidate and the party is embarrassed by Rishi Sunak. You've got Andrea Leadsom, no picture of Rishi Sunak on her, and not Andrea Leadsom, Andrea Jenkins, the lady with the finger. No picture or on her leaflets of Rishi Sunak, her leader. Only a picture of Nigel Farage. I would have thought that merits being thrown out of the party. But at this desperate time, maybe the um, party authorities, CCHQ, think that they need as many votes as they can possibly get, as many members as they can possibly get. I use the term loosely. But it's... Uh, Labour has said about the allegations against Craig Williams that they are utterly extraordinary. They're not utterly extraordinary. This is a government that for some time, it's SPAD, is it SPAD? It's SPADs, it's Special Advisors, and it's um, uh, the, the Klingons around authority, the kitchen cabinet, the, 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 the chumocracy, has been up to, it, to, its, to its eyeballs in strange dealings. Why is one more? so extraordinary, not utterly extraordinary. Of course, the whole thing becomes significantly worse if, as the Labour MP Jonathan Ashworth claims, Prime Minister Rishi Sunak had already made a decision to go to the polls early, a week before he actually announced it. And this is why the Gambling Commission has got in touch with the candidate, and this is almost certainly why uh, other rival parties are calling this an outrageous um, lack of judgment. The Liberal Democrat deputy leader, Daisy Cooper, said the Prime Minister should immediately suspend Williams as a candidate uh, and conduct an investigation into what he knew before he had his, quote, flutter, I think while while he's busy suspending Craig Williams, he should also suspend Andrea Jenkins, she of the one-fingered salute. And because it's outrageous that um, a sitting MP should promote herself for one party and have photographs of the leader from another party on her election material. I mean, I wouldn't vote for her, but that's neither here nor there. I don't think, I don't think it's honest. And in the end, it's about honesty. I don't think Craig Williams is honest. And I don't think that the Prime Minister, if he wants to conduct an honest election, if he wants to promote an honest party, should have these people in his orbit. Uh, in the next day or so, he's going to be running off to the south of Italy 
uh, to attend the G7 summit, and I presume he'll stay there for the duration rather than scamper off back to an ITV studio to do further pointless interviews and then apologize for the G7 overrunning. Oh, Biden was a little bit more doddery than was expected, so we, we, we were a few minutes late. Sorry. This is the government that boasted Baroness Moon. Moan. I've forgotten and I don't care about the pronunciation of her name anymore. I know that it's not what it's supposed to be, um, and I can't really work out what that's supposed to be anymore. Uh, a man has been arrested, a 47-year-old 40, man has been arrested, we learned today, in connection with her PPE selling spree and pocketing so much money and keeping out of the public um, public gaze, even in her bikini, or is it swimsuit, even in her swimsuit. Th these, are, these are people who have played the system. I think it's wrong to say all conservatives are like this, but I think it's absolutely right to say that there's a swathe of individuals who have taken advantage of their position after 14 years and uh, have said one thing, done another, and while not necessarily being rank corruption, it's not propriety, it's not correct, and it's not something to brag about. It's embarrassing, and it's become routine. And maybe this is what happens to all governments that have been in power for 14 years. So Labour, watch out.